Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and uh, today we're going to do this image. Oh, what's this image? Oh, this is the um, a rock <laughs> with grass on it and I liked it because of it being quite warm on this side and cold on this side and then I can play with creating rock effects really and and we're using yesterday's palette. Why, why, why are you doing that? Because uh, I don't want to waste the paint and I've put quite a lot out and I figured these colours are similar. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, Smudge. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, and uh, I quite like it. It's somewhat different. I've not really painted anything like this yet, so I thought I would do this. Yeah, okay, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, thank, thanks, Smudge. Yeah, you're, you're going down there, are you? Quickly dooply doo, let's just get into this. Let's go straight in, fire away. Yes, we're ready. Yes, yes, yes. Well, actually, <clears throat> I moved this over here to start with because I want to show you how I'm going to start. And really, I'm going to start by mixing some colors because I want to make this color and then this greeny color. So here we go. Let's, uh, there's this red red and black and a bit of blue and a bit of white, I think, in there. And uh, look at this palette. <laughs> oh my God, this little brush just gone in the yellow. These brushes in the way. Probably should get a brush holder rather than putting brushes in pots. I don't know. Need to do something though, because I'm not organized, as always, not organized. So I'm gonna blob some white out. That's all, all white. Oh well. So, here we go. So, red. So mix in with this. How, how wet is this? Yeah, it's still all right. Yesterday's pink. Let's put a bit of blue in it, make this color. So let's check this to start with on here. And we can see, mine's way too red. This is a lot, so it's some black in it. It's kind of like a, a, a lighter version of this, I think. Yeah, I thought so. It's lighter than that. It's close though, it's getting closer. It's sort of peach. Peachy, a greyish peach, isn't it? It's quite grey. Uh, it's a bit of the orange, maybe. Cadmium orange. So we've got cadmium red, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow, uh, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and ivory black, and then titanium white on the palette and it should do us, it should get us everything we need. This is getting quite nice, nice of a colour actually, it's fairly close. I think it's got a bit of more yellow in it. Yeah, a bit lighter. So when I'm uh, mixing colors, there's something else that I think of, and that is, is this color nicer than that color? And I actually think this color that I've got now is that little bit nicer. I think I'll go with that. That little bit of blue has got it really close. But I quite like this. It's just, it's just a bit warmer. And I want a bit warmer, I think. So we'll leave that, leave that brush in it as well. Why not? So we'll get this white. <laughs> we'll use it to make a pile here. So what do we want now? We want this color, don't we? I want like it's more yellow than anything. Let's do it there. Some of that white. Let's 
very uh, very light very light very light and it's got more red in it it's got a warm light warm yeah something like that so we'll use that let's let's start with that and then I'll move the picture down and we'll do some more color mixing so I'm gonna use a bit of tape and I'm gonna stick this above and I think before I get started I'm gonna draw this in as well so there's like a just looking at the the basic shapes and we'll do a quick sketch of that I'll just I'm gonna stick it above my uh, canvas you won't see it but make sure my focus is working <laughs> yeah you won't see it but it won't matter because I'm not gonna do it the same I'm just gonna do a, a watery sketch so I've got some water I'm gonna get some of this yellowy greeny color and I'll use that to do my sketch so it's quite high up it's about there I think the uh, rock face and it goes down to about here and up like that and up like that more like that and then that goes around and then there's this shape that goes I'm just using this as reference we're not going to do the exact same picture I just like the shapes really so keeping that angle and then there's a bit more of a like that. A bit more that shape and that shape that goes like that and this goes more like that and it comes out and oh, not really high enough are we this has come down too much i want to be able to make this yeah <laughs> what's going on there it should be like there more like there that should go up Just about there, here. So that sort of goes like that, like that. That comes around, and then that comes out like that. Yeah, something like that, and that comes down around something like that anyway, and that's the sit back I might leave, leave there's a chunk of rock here but I'm gonna leave it out I don't really like it now what else can I change I want to change I think this is more like there
yeah, not like that. <laughs> so let's throw some paint in then, let's get some of this light colour and that can be a nice light area there. This nice and clean, this colour. You want this to be nice and clean. Light. There and there. Okay, I'm going to get some pure white in my colour. Just on my brush and I can throw that in. Lighten it a little bit more. I think that'll do. Now I'm coming with this purpley colour. Now this is actually darker than the uh, colour that's on there. So I'll just lighten it a little bit. But I quite like the fact that it's darker because then it'll make the uh, the light of the like this light make it lighter yeah I quite like this pinky look in the sky I use some of that colour to go into this yellow, yellow and peachy colour. Just throw that bit of that peachy colour in my colour, in my colour, <laughs> in the colour on my brush. this nice light that we've got going here. Get rid of some light green. There. Some light going on here as well. Yeah, what I was thinking is if I get some of that red, I can create that like burny sort of look again, which I like around there. Quite like that. We'll carry on with this colour. Go chuck a bit more, oops, a bit more light in it. I'll start putting in, uh, keep it going down here. So. Nice and warm on this side. Let's do this colour first, and what I can do is I can uh, come back, I've cut out shapes that I want in there as well. I can do that at this point. Just block this in. Block this in this colour. Okay. Now it's also in this water would be here as well. So let's just put that in there. Now 
using that lightness. I'm going to start putting a few bits of that light, that sky light. Sit back and have a look at what you've got. Yeah, I quite like that. there sort of thinking thinking sitting back thinking always sitting back and thinking <laughs> I want a bit more light in, in, in there that's look how bright that looks now I want, I want to smooth that away though yeah that'll do just wanted it to brighten up in places Nice and bright there. And then let it go away. Like turning the light on <laughs> and then dimming it a little bit. Right, let's carry on. Um, I might do the other side of the water actually while we're uh, playing. Uh, I got a bit soaked today, <laughs> so my hair looks a bit flat and funny because that we're in a bit of black and blue, black and blue, blue and black. Black and blue, blue and black, black and blue, blue and black. Just put a little bit of this colour in here to start with. It looks similar to the uh, watercolour. And then it's really black. Very dark. Which I'll just blow in. get a little bit of light just to knock it off a little bit not make it a little lighter that's what I mean just make it a little bit lighter okay I think maybe I've gone a bit too dark on this. So let's lighten it a little bit more. That's probably okay. I'd say. Yeah, but I'm not. 
and that bit which then blends out into there just wipe my brush yeah something like that now what do we want now I quite like this I like this green like like in it like the green no, it's just paints a bit dry up here. <laughs> bit of red in it, I think. Let's check that. Yeah, about right. So, I've got this green here. This is quite a good uh, base colour, and then I can come back and change things just blocking in blocking in the colour anywhere where there's a, a grass I might change you know, I've got a blob of red on them I might change things a bit lighten it a bit No, we'll leave it at that for now. Leave it at that. This here. Make a decision whether we want that to look grassy or not. Is that a wall? Yeah, I don't think I want a wall on this. Making these changes to the picture that I want <laughs> which you can do if you don't want something you don't have to have it so I'll bring this out now and okay table a little bit, it's falling off. <laughs> Some green there. Some more stronger green. So we can make a decision how we want this to be. Sitting back, having a look. I like it so far. I'm going to get some brown, throw it into my greeny colour, and then certain areas. Baking a cake. <laughs> Areas you want to be browning off a little bit. Come do it all down here as well. Can get 
some of the yellow as well and uh, I mean yellow red <laughs> pull that in just to change things in places now some yellow <laughs> yellow and white let's make a quite a nice light bit of red in it sort of a light orange kind of like the sky color and then maybe I can have it going down there and it can fall down there as well making all these decisions <laughs> decisions decisions I want a bit more brown a bit more brown I want brown this bit here quite like the way that is okay I've got some of the brown on my brush, but I don't really mind if it's a bit dirty. Just lighten this. Some areas that the light is shining. Can I put that in? Try not to. Overdo it though in the areas. Okay, bit there as well. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I quite like that. We need to start putting in the dark part of the rock now so it can start coming together a bit more. Working the painting as a whole rather than just parts because now when we put the dark in um, and then we can start putting little bits of the light in. I'm looking forward to this bit actually. Let's <laughs> go quite dark, I think. I'm gonna go on to the blue side of black. Yeah, something like this, blue side of black. And then I'm gonna, gonna drag this in. And then what I'll do is I'll put paint on top of it. So I wanna scrub this in then. See what happens. So we can uh, change things, do whatever we like. <laughs> we don't like an area, we can change it. I just want to scrub the paint in. The reason I want to do that is because if I have too much paint on, too many big blobs of paint, it's going to be hard for me to add light paint. So I'll just put it on quite thinly. Split that up there. I think I could do a bit more brown on this side. Yeah, that's better. OK. 
Okay. I'll do. We can modify that. And change whatever we like. Places. Just adds a tiny bit of water in just to make it flow a lot easier. is like at all now. <laughs> That's alright because it wasn't really, it was just using it to start it. So what I want to do, there's one thing I do want to change there, not springing that back out there. That's better. Just sort of putting that color in. All right. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to play around a bit. I can with a smaller brush. I'm going to get some of this grey, grey, maybe a bit of this colour as well. Greyish, greenish. And then what I'm going to do with this brush, I can start putting in all these little rocky bits. can pull straight down. Or I can go sideways like this. To create all these different effects in the rock. And I can just drag my brush down. Areas that I kind of want it to be sharper. Get some dark and areas I want a bit more brown shaping. Might even get some of this purpley colour in there. Try and bring a piece out like that. Let's 
sort of leaving areas. Some areas want a bit more to them. Sort of sit back, have a look. Always sitting back, having a look, see what happens. This is a new, new thing for me, doing this. Just playing with colour and seeing what happens. But doing rock. <laughs> like I like thinking of different ways to do it. some more light to it. Let's see what kind of effect you get. It's not this green colour. purple, purpley pink I should say. sitting back always having a look. Just wanna catch some light on here. It's a little bit this white as well. I'll sit in back having a look at what's happening. See what's developing. Just using little strokes. Looking at areas that I think they can stay stay dark. Areas that I want to lighten up a bit. I like the idea of bringing this together. And then I'm going to use a bit of this bit blue and white and kind of
is that watery effect. Yeah, quite like that actually. I want to get a few more to the green. Some light ones. Some light ones to the green side. Down here. spend ages doing this. <laughs> I really could. Alright now just building up, building up. On this side I want to do something similar. Bring this down. grass colour. Feels like this. I want it quite dark at the base because it is in the uh, picture. So together a little bit more. Some of the rocks breaking into the grass. Yeah, that's better. These, these little details, they do make a difference when you're doing these sort of things. Sort of messing around. <laughs> <laughs> messing around here. 
Let's uh, move that like that. Just sit back, have a look. Hmm, maybe I will have a path. Maybe instead of a... I quite like the idea of that. I think that's a wall, but I think we're going to have a path that goes... It gets bigger here. And bigger and bigger. Pressing the brush and then eventually letting the brush go. Don't look at that. Yeah, I might put a tree on here. <laughs> Why not? Let's get some of that black. Black and blue and a bit of red maybe. Black and yellow. I think this colour. Maybe there's a tree. <laughs> um, no, I can't imagine a tree there. I think instead. I'm just going to uh, create some little details in here. Sort of blend that uh, path into the grass a little bit. Sit back. Yeah, so all I want to do. <laughs> it's one of these uh, paintings that I like messing around in, but I should really uh, think about how I want this to be finished, and this is what I want to do. I'm going to use the same technique that I've used on the uh, side of the rocks and stuff on the grass. I use lots of these little strokes. to bring this together. Okay, let's get a bit of that white in this. Get some light strokes. Really. Strokes. Okay. This light, I need to go around here actually. Okay, and then 
side of the Lightest, the lightest light. Okay. Yeah, quite enjoy doing this. Quite enjoy doing it. <laughs> I like the idea of doing something with a little brush from now now and then to see what happens. Just sitting back and having a look. The area that I think needs a bit of work to make it look more solid is uh, a little bit too soft there. Now let's have a look. Yeah, I quite like this. Break that up a bit using that. Let us sit back, have a look. Warm, cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might put a little birdie in, in the sky, and then uh, just call this one for today. Just look a bit weird. <laughs> I just really wanted to create this warmth, cold, warmth and cold. That's really what, what I see. So yeah, let's get the beardy. Sometimes that's all it needs is a little bird going about there, maybe. Maybe there's three big birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we really will start this. <laughs> oh God, you can just carry on forever, can't you? Okay, we will uh, we'll have to say this one. We'll call this one finished. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to keep picking up the brush and go bloop, 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 and then uh, it'll never be finished. It'll always be. But it's just another way to paint. Uh, I just wanted to show you that you can use a, a brush to do all these little marks and to create something. And. Uh, Yeah, and it's good fun. <laughs> There's more of these little marks you start putting in, the more you start seeing and creating. But yeah, we'll call this. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this episode. Don't forget to check out my Facebook or my Instagram, or my Patreon if you want to support the shows. And uh, that's uh, Y line number 26 done. Number 26 doing quite well 
I paint 26 paintings every day so far. Only a few more days to go. <laughs> Hopefully I do it and then uh, you'll be able to see all the episodes. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.